All right, let's do some practice with these uh, factoring problems. Our very first one, and th this one came directly from uh, my math lab problem, and the, the first things that they're going to ask you to do is to finish out or complete the factorization. Now, I think that it's better just to go ahead and factor something and then write the answer in. So it will give you a lot more practice. So remember, when you're factoring, the first rule of factoring is always to pull out the GCF. There's not one here. We have three terms, and because the first term is not a 1, we're going to use product sum method. So product sum method says I'm going to multiply the first term, or the first number, times the last. So 6 times negative 10 would be a negative 60. Now when I'm factoring negative 60, because this is a negative number, that means that my signs are going to have to be opposite. So I won't worry about writing the signs in, but keep in mind that these signs are going to be opposite which really means you're going to be subtracting instead of adding these numbers. So let's see, as I start to factor this, 60 would be 1 times 60, or 2 times 30, or 3 times 20, uh, or 4 times 15. Oh, how about that? 4 and 15 will subtract to give me an 11, won't they? Because remember, we're looking for a subtraction here. So if my 15 was positive and the 4 was negative, wouldn't that give us a positive 11? It absolutely would. So I'm going to use that to rewrite the problem. So we have 6y squared. Now instead of the middle term, I'm going to write minus 4y plus 15y minus 10. Same exact thing just rewritten it a little bit. But now we can do factor by grouping because we have four terms. So in our first two terms we can pull out a 2 and a y that they have in common which will leave us with 3y minus 2. And in the second two terms uh, they both have a 5 in common. So if I pull out that positive 5, 5 times 3y would give us 15y, and 3 times negative 2 would give us a negative 10. Because we have that common binomial factor, we can now pull it out of both of those terms, and we're left with 2y plus 5. Now here, they already have the 2y plus 5. They're looking for the second factor, which we found to be 3y minus 2.